Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover the joinery that we're going to be using for our spindle short stool and it is a uh, wedge mortise and tenon. So what is the wedge mortise and tenon? Well, tenon is basically a stick and mortise is a hole. So this right here I have a straight mortise and tenon. As you can see, as you can see there's a slot cut right down the middle and that is for the wedge. So the way it works, you just slot the tenon in to the mortise and you lock the whole joinery with uh, by hammering the wedge in like that. So that would be really tight. So that is one of the options as in this is one of the joineries that you can use. If I remove the, the wedge, I can take out the, the joint easily. Okay, so there's another joinery that I am going to cover, which is the taper tenon. So for this taper tenon, the hole will also have to be taper. And as you can see here, I just chisel the, um, the mortise. So th at the back, it's around 30 millimeter, and at the front, it is uh, 19 millimeter. So it's the same. Just wedge it in. And the joint would be really tight. And of course, there's going to be um, a slot cut in the tenon, this taper tenon, the same way that we did for the straight tenon. So you have two options um, to go about this project. You can either choose to go for the straight one, which is slightly easier, or the taper one, which is a little bit more challenging, but it's also fun if you are up for that challenge. I just want to let you know that it does not really matter which joinery you go for, whether it's a straight tenon or a taper tenon, it will still work just the same. Um, by that I mean the joinery will still be nice and tight and it will still hold the legs into the seat. The only difference is the difficulty in executing these um, tenons and I'm going to cover how to make both of them since I'll have to um, get a straight tenon before I can um, chisel a little bit at a time down the front and turning it to a taper. So as you can see in front of me, these are all the tools that you will be needing for, um, for this project. How to cut the tenon. Okay. So you'll need some uh, marking tools, measuring tools, you have a pair of chisels, and if you order the spindle short stool kit, you'll receive a, a block plane, and hammer, saw, hold fast. Those are uh, regular stuff that's included in the kit. So the very first thing you want to do is to mark out the the tenon, right? So um, the tenon is going to be 50 millimeter long because the, the seat of our stool is 40 to 45 millimeter. So we just want the, the tip to stick out just a tiny bit when we do that. So first thing you're gonna do is measure from the end. It doesn't really matter which end. Just measure from the end 50 millimeter and then you just square it all the way around like that. So the next marking that we need to do is a little bit more uh, critical or a little bit more important because uh, we need to draw out the center line. So to do that, just draw a straight line from corner to corner. So that will give you the center marking. And then you do the same thing, another straight line going right across the, the middle from, uh, from both ends. And the reason this is important is because later on when you start carving the edges, you'll have to start referencing from the middle to the outside. Okay, so Let's work on that. And once you're done marking all the center marking, center line, the next thing you're gonna do is grab a compass and just draw out a circle that fills up the entire surface. So what you would do, start from the center, bring out the pencil, make sure it's right before the edge and just draw a circle like that. So that should be a 45 millimeter diameter 
since the, the stock itself is 45 by 45. So the next circle that we need to draw is the 30 millimeter um, circle, the 30 millimeter diameter circle. And that is the 30 millimeter is the bottom of our uh, taper tenon. Okay, as I've mentioned before, to get a taper tenon, the first thing you need to get is the, the straight and round tenon before you move on to um, tapering the end. So the first section of the video will basically be about how to cut the straight tenon, and then we'll move on to um, the second section of the video where I cover the how to cut the taper tenon. Okay, so just draw out the uh, 30 millimeter circle, and then we'll move on to the next step. Before we move on any further, I also want to cover another drawing that we need to do, which is to connect this line here, this marking here, to this marking here. So you just draw a straight line all the way down on all four sides, because those spots are going to be um, the tip of, or the, yeah, basically the tip of our circle, and we need to keep them um, intact throughout the entire process of carving. All right, the very last marking we are going to do is to mark out the excess that we need to cut away. So just draw a, a straight line, just mark a straight line right next to the circle, the interior circle, 30 millimeter. All right, just draw it out on all four sides and copy it down the side of the, the wood as well. And that will become our, um, our reference line for sawing off later.